So in this question, we have a company that has total assets of $1,300, sales of $2,400, a debt to equity ratio of 0.4, and a return on equity of 16%. What is the profit margin and net income? Okay, so as I've mentioned in other questions that came in this format, what I like to do is I like to take a paragraph first and then take the information and put it as a list. It just visually allows me to see it better. I don't have to go searching in the paragraph for things or referring to it all the time. So let's go one by one here. Assets, so I'll just put A is equal to 1,300. Sales is 2,400. The debt to equity ratio is 0.4. So I like to put the actual ratio. So debt over equity is equal to 0.4. And we are given the return on equity of 16%. Return on equity, as we know, it's net income over equity. And the actual ratio will always give you a decimal number, even though you can express the ratios as percentages as well. But when you're actually doing math with ratios, they have to be in decimal. So the 16%, we would convert that to 0.16. And just for reference, this is the return on equity that we were given. Okay, so that's the first step. Took all the information, put it as a list of information in bullet point form. Next thing, notice how in this question we are given the debt to equity ratio of 0.4. And if you remember, I've mentioned this many times, if you're given either the debt to equity ratio, equity multiplier, or total debt ratio, you always want to make a mini balance sheet. So debt to equity is equal to 0.4. This 0.4 is not a fraction, it's a single value, so we put it over one. And then from this information, we can make our mini balance sheet. I'm thinking about where to make it. Let's uh, make it over here actually for now. We can always move it after. So assets, debt, and equity. So the debt is 0.4. The equity is 1, so then the assets has to be the sum of the debt and equity. So 0.4 plus 1 gives us 1.4. So we have our information in a list. We have the mini balance sheet up here that we made, and now we can get into solving the question. We have a nice foundation to work from. And notice how I didn't even look at what we were finding yet, profit margin and net income when I was doing all of this. This is just sort of preliminary steps to making whatever you're looking for a lot easier of a process. So we have to find the profit margin and net income. Well, fortunately for us, these two are related. Profit margin is just net income over sales. And whenever they're asking you to find a certain ratio, you always want to put what the actual ratio is. Profit margin is net income over sales. And then net income is not a ratio. That's just a dollar amount. So I'm going to do this in two different ways. The first way, I am going to find the profit margin first. And then I'm going to use the profit margin to find the net income. Because notice how we're given the sales amount. So if we know what the profit margin is. We can input the sales here and then solve for the net income. So what we're going to do to solve for the profit margin is we're going to use the DuPont identity, which I wrote out here. As we know, return on equity is equal to profit margin times total asset turnover times equity multiplier. And then once we have the profit margin, we can then find the net income as well. Now, out of both methods I'm going to show you, this is my least favorite method. Personally, I don't like to use these like sort of set relationships, this DuPont identity, and then there's like so many others because I don't want to memorize all of this stuff. What I like to do is I like to write out all of the information, make my mini balance sheet, and then from there kind of solve it like a puzzle to find what I need to find. And we'll do that in the second step. But for the first step, 
um, we'll use the DuPont identity to solve for this profit margin. So let's fill in some stuff. So we know return on equity, it's given 16%. So let's put that as decimal. So this was, uh, that would be 0.16. Profit margin, we are solving for that. So let's just put an X here. Next, this total asset turnover. We know that that is equal to sales over assets. And notice in the question, we are given the sales and the assets. So that's going to be 2400 over 1300. And then the equity multiplier, we know that that's equal to assets over equity. And to get that, we can just use our mini balance sheet. So assets over equity is 1.4 over 1, which is just 1.4. And now notice the only variable remaining to solve for is this X, which represents the profit margin. So then just working this through, we take this 2400 divided by 1300. That gives us this decimal value, 1.84615. Try not to round too much when you are in the middle of uh, doing all this algebra. Then the next step is I take these two brackets, multiply them together, end up getting 2.5846. We still have this 0.16 on the left side, and we're trying to isolate for this X. We're trying to find the profit margin. So what we would do is we would have to divide both sides by what's beside this X, this 2.5846. What we do to one side, we got to do to the other. And then those would cancel out. And then when you input this in your calculator, 0.16 divided by 2.5846, you end up getting 0 0.0619. Or because we're talking about profit margin, if you want to express it as a percentage, 6.19 per. Set. So we have found the first part of the question. We found the profit margin of 6.19%. So now that we have that profit margin of 6.19%, we can easily find the net income because as we mentioned before, we know profit margin is equal to net income over sales. And this profit margin, net income over sales, is going to be 6.19%. But remember, when we're dealing with the actual ratios mathematically, this has to be in decimals. So this would be 0 0.0619. And we are given the sales amount of 2400 in the question. So we can input that here. So this 0 0.0619 would go over 1, and notice how net income is the only variable remaining. We can cross multiply. So net income times 1 gives us net income, and then 2400 times 0 0.0619, that would give you approximately $148.57, $148.57. So that there ends up being your net income, 148 0.57. So that is one way to solve this question. We use the DuPont identity to solve for the profit margin. Once we had the profit margin, we can then solve for the net income using the ratio that we found for the profit margin and the sales amount that we were given. Cross multiply, you get that net income amount. And now the second way to solve a question. Here is how I would approach solving this question personally. So I'm finding the profit margin, I'm finding the net income. Now, profit margin I know, it's equal to net income over sales. And I already know that I have the sales amount, so what I have to find is the net income. And then I can just divide the net income by that sales figure that I'm given, and that would give me the profit margin, and it would also solve this part of the question, finding the net income. So before what we did was we found the profit margin, then we found the net income. In this method, I'm going to find the net income first, and then find the profit margin. The question is, how can I find the net income? Let's go through a series of steps here. Well, I'm not given a lot of information about the net income, but 
I am given the return on equity, which is equal to net income over equity, and that equals 0.16. So if I can find what this equity amount is here, I can then find what the net income is because that would be the only variable remaining in this equation. Now, in this specific question, I am not given the actual equity amount. This would be the actual equity in dollar amounts. So we can't just use this equity value of one. Remember, this is a mini balance sheet. It's just used for ratios. But because I have the mini balance sheet and I have one of the balance sheet accounts, I have the assets as 1300, I can find any other of the accounts using ratios. So step one, I'm gonna use the mini balance sheet and the assets to find the equity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these ratios, assets over equity, because those are the two accounts I'm gonna be working with, the assets I'm given and the equity I am finding. Now this ratio from the mini balance sheet, that is 1.4 over one, and that's going to equal the assets in dollar amounts, which is 1,300, and I am solving for that equity amount there. So I'm gonna erase this portion here and notice how I have this equation. So now to solve for this equity variable, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross multiply. So 1.4 times equity, that just gives us 1.4, and in brackets, I'm gonna have this equity variable and that equals one times 1300, which is just 1300. And then to isolate for this equity account, I'm gonna divide both sides by 1.4. So when I do that, this 1.4 cancels out and now the equity variable is isolated. And when I input this in the calculator, 1300 divided by 1.4, I end up getting $928.57 for the equity. Again, try not to round here. Keep a few decimal places until you get to the final answer. So now, this is good information. We know equity is equal to this amount, so let's actually input that in our list of information. So this is gonna be 928.57. And now I can move on to step two. I can use that return on equity ratio of 0.16 and the equity that we found in step one to find the net income. So I can rewrite this equation here. So I got net income over equity is equal to 0.16. But as I know, the equity amount is 928 0.57. So what I can do now is I can put this 0.16 over one and I can cross multiply to solve for the unknown variable net income. So one times net income is net income. And then 928.57 times 0.16, that would give you 148.57. And if you remember, $148.57 for the net income is the same amount that we got when we did it the first way. So this is 148.57. And now what we can do is our third step is we can use the net income and sales to find profit margin. Okay, so we know profit margin is equal to net income over sales. Net income we know is 148.57, which we found in step two and the sales we are given in the question, it's 2,400. So when you divide both of these, you end up getting 0 0.0619 or 6.19% if you wanna express it as percentages. 
So this profit margin here is 6.19%, and that is the same answer that we got in the first method. And we are done the question. So two different methods. Personally, I like the second method here where I went over the three steps, but whichever method you prefer, you can use that one. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.